coordinate system Cartesian plane. The French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist René Descartes was one of the most important and influential thinkers in history. Descartes founded analytic geometry and originated the Cartesian coordinates and Cartesian curves. The coordinate system is often called the Cartesian plane. The coordinate system has two lines. One is horizontal, it's called the x-axis, and one is vertical, it's called the y-axis. Where this two line meets, this point is called the origin. Because of the two lines crossing each other, that divided the entire coordinate system or coordinate Cartesian plane into four parts. The first part we call that quadrant one. The second part call that quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Now because the value on the number line, the x-axis positive, negative. The y-axis on top is positive, at the bottom is negative. So the quadrant 1 contains positive x value and positive y value. Quadrant 2 contains negative x value and positive y value. Quadrant 3 contains negative x value and negative y values. And quadrant 4 contains positive x value and negative y values. The coordinate system Again, x-axis, y-axis, origin, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Now, each point in the coordinate system has its own location, which can be identified by an ordered pair, x and y in parentheses. Now, the first value in the ordered pair is called the x-coordinate. The second number is called the y-coordinate. For example, 3 and negative 2. The x-coordinate is 3. 1, 2, and 3. The y-coordinate is negative 2, which is 1, negative 2. So where they crossing each other, that location would be the location of the order pair 3, negative 2. Negative 5 and 6, 0, and negative 3.5. Order pair x and y in parentheses always comes two numbers, x and y. There's a point p at the position 4 and 2. That means the x-coordinate is 4, the y-coordinate is 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 for x, and 1, 2 for y. That's where they meet. Okay, let's take a closer look on the point A. 2 and 3. x-coordinate is 2, y-coordinate is 3. Where they meet is A point A. B is phi negative 3, phi and negative 3. D is negative 1 and negative 5. Now you got it? Usually we see the coordinate system applied in the map. D3 where d is the first value, which is the x-coordinate, and the y is 3, which is the y-coordinate, where they meet this area would be the d3 on the map. Even the coordinate is on top or on the side. That also means on top that reflected in at the bottom as well. On the right, it will also reflect it on the left. So 2, 3, 2 is x-coordinate, and c, I'm sorry, is the y-coordinates. 
this area will be 2c. Sometimes you will see that scientific um, scientists use a coordinate system for their experiment, the mathematicians solving the uh, equations or graphically, and also economics um, use the coordinate system to help them to analyze the revenue and the cost. Okay, coordinate system, x-axis, y-axis, origin, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Each point on the coordinate system can be represented by an order pair. Okay, point your finger on the screen to identify the location negative 3, 4. Negative 3 and 4. You got it? Okay. And now, next example, please point your, your finger on the screen to see whether you can identify the location. Did you got it right? Okay. All right. You can always come back and repeat the video math lesson. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.